What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning into a new video and if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So if you guys know me, you guys know I'm a huge fan of WeatherTech. I run their mats on all of my cars. The blue GC8 has WeatherTechs, the E60 has WeatherTechs, the Jeep that's not here has WeatherTechs, I have a Silverado that has WeatherTechs, my mom has her CRV over there that has WeatherTechs, and my dad has the red Ram you guys have seen on the channel that also has WeatherTechs. So, like I said, we have WeatherTechs on everything. Like, it's gotten to the point where we don't know where to store all of our OEM mats because we don't use them. Like, my dad's Ram's mats, they are brand new, literally, we brought it home and we already had them on order. So as soon as they the truck came home from the dealership, we swapped them over. So these are basically brand spanking new. I just love how they're weatherproof and they're very thin. And like in the winter time, when you have snow on your feet, you just go in, you know, you give your little shoot, your feet a little action and you're good to go. Like if you get a little bit of water on the floor mats, they'll dry off eventually and you're good to go. It won't you know, go through and wet your carpet, potentially start, you know, making, you know, rust on the floor pans of your car. Like you don't have to worry about any of that and it's awesome. My only complaint right now is the E60 and I know it's a, like very dirty. Um, the floor mats slide up Oh my God, there's even a fry over there. The floor mats slide all over the place um, because mine didn't come with, or I don't know if any of them really, came with the little hooks right here to hold them down. And basically, when they go up too far up there, when you press the clutch when you're driving the car, it'll basically catch, let's see, it'll catch like that and bring the weather tech up and it's very annoying because you have to like push the clutch back down and basically the only fix is to pull it backwards um basically i know that it's supposed to go under like the seat rail right here um but every time i, I basically don't have that many problems driving this but emily does it's mostly like when it's raining, as you can see, like right now, like you can just slide it all over the place and it's very annoying. So for the longest time, I thought, you know, we were just stuck dealing with that problem. Um, I didn't know there was a fix, but I found a company who might have found a fix. Um, I found them and I reached out to them and they were more than willing to work with us. They agreed to work with us months ago. And so they sent me uh, their products and I actually had lost them for a couple months in this pitch that I like to call a garage. <laughs> but I just found them, so we're gonna go ahead and throw them on. So the company is called Eagle Claw. And like I said, they sent me, I believe it was like a set of four of their clips. So yeah, the company is called Eagle Claw. And like I said, they sent me a pack of four of their they're basically some claws that go onto your carpet and hold your mat in place. So let's open it up. Okay, so this is everything I got. Um, so they said they would send me some for four floor mats. Um, I'm guessing two are for each floor mat. So there would be two, four, six, and eight. But I also got an extra two of them. And then I got nine of these washers and nine of these screws. And then this is the installation tool if your floor mat does not have holes. Um, as you already saw on my weather text, they already have the floor or the holes, so I don't have to use this. So I already read the instructions and I have a pretty good idea of how they're installed, but I'm going to go ahead and get this vacuumed up and clean the weather tech a little bit so it can look a little nicer in the video.
guys. I'm a little embarrassed to tell you this. I didn't know that these cars actually did come with a locking mechanism, I guess, for your floor mats. I feel so dumb. So as you can see here and there, it brings these things and I don't know, they're like textured and they're just, you know, round, right? So, all right. So they sit basically flush with the carpet, right? And I, I saw them when I got the weather text and I just, I didn't know what to do you know I tried prying on them and I couldn't really get under them because like I said they are flush with the carpet so I was like okay I don't know what that and you know it's it's rough right here so I thought you know it was missing the hooks and like this piece was just the broken bottom piece of what was supposed to be there um, but right now when I was you know kind of cleaning this I ended up twisting it like this and guess what they pop right out oh my god this is crazy like I would have never known if I wouldn't have you know started making this video so I'm still gonna clean the weather tech and I guess we are gonna try installing them on the Subaru because I know for a fact that one doesn't have any hooks because the original ones bring a bracket where it goes basically bolted down to your seat bracket so I know this one doesn't have any hooks and they never made weather techs for GCs so I'm running GD weather techs which fit perfectly but you know they weren't made for these cars. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this one back on. We'll see if those clips actually hold and then we're going to rude and then we're going to go ahead and throw the eagle claws on this car. Moment of truth, let's see if those clips hold this weather tech in place. Okay, so these clips don't go in deep enough to go through this really big lip that these have and they have to go in pretty deep in there so um, I don't know I'm thinking if I you know I'll have to mess these up but if I shave these little lips down that maybe they'll go in deep enough and we'll be good so we're gonna leave this project for another day. Let's jump over to the Subaru. All right guys, so this one should need any cleaning. Um, I think we can just get right to it. Only problem is lighting is gonna be an issue. So the way this thing works is this goes down into your carpet and it has these sharp eagle claws that will hold everything in place. This goes on top of your uh, floor mat so like here in this hole right here and this washer will hold everything in place so basically what I have to do is start by putting this through here and then I put the washer on and then I screw this on to this cap and then I have to bang it with something um, either my foot or like a hammer or something you don't want to go too hard but you do want to give it some force so it, the claws dig into the carpet and everything is nice and secure. All 
All right, so like you guys just saw, um, I was hitting it with the hammer, and I was hitting it and hitting it and hitting it, and it, nothing was happening. So I hit it with the bottom part of it, like this, and I heard a snap, and that's what I needed to hear so that I know that the washer is holding everything together and that this is secured to the bottom. And now, if you look at this, I am tugging on it, you know, pretty hard, and it's not moving at all. So these things are holding it down. So basically what you wanna do when you're done or when you wanna take it out to clean it, um, you can use a flathead, you can use a coin or, you know, anything that'll fit in here or they say even a three quarter socket and then you can just twist it like this and then it'll come off. But Obviously, I just put it on, so I'm going to keep it on there nice and tight. But like I said, this thing is not going anywhere. Like, if you see the whole thing is nice and tight on there. I'm actually genuinely impressed on how hard those claws grab to your carpet. Like I said, I was honestly pulling on that floor mat really hard and it wasn't moving at all. So shout out to the guys over at Eagle Claw. Like I said, if you guys have those annoying floor mats that are always sliding all over the place, or even if they're not and you just want to have them secure, um, especially on the driver's side because you don't want the floor mat moving for whatever reason, you know, and getting under your pedal or whatever, you know, prevent anything bad from happening. Um, hit up the guys over at Eagle Claw and they will hook you guys up. Like I said, they sent this over to me for free so I can try it out, test it, and let you guys know. And like I said, I was pulling on it with a lot of force. Those things weren't moving. So if you guys wanna pick up one of these kits, um, I haven't worked out anything with them to give me a code to give you guys a discount yet. They told me that they would. So um, if, it's, if I don't have it before the video goes live, you'll just see like their website link on the description but if i do have it i'll post it on there if not i'll post it as soon as i get it to give it to you guys they're fairly inexpensive i, I believe it's like 25 30 dollars for the kit of four so it's a pretty good deal let's support the companies that support the stay on the gas youtube channel i didn't use them all because um, I don't know if the BMW is going to work with the factory ones if they don't work i'm going to end up using these anyways so I'm gonna try that out, I don't know, either later today or tomorrow or whatever. And if not, I'll definitely be throwing two of these on the one on the BMW, because like I said, I'm very impressed with how these work. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.